Hey everyone, I'm Sam Feifel, editor of Spar Point Group, and welcome to another edition of Spar Vlog. This week, it's hard not to pay attention to Gartner's hype cycle graph, the latest edition of which they released this week. If you're not familiar with Gartner or the famous graph, the company is a research and consulting firm that specializes in technology, and the graph charts what they see as technology's relatively inevitable life cycle. First, the technology is created and early adopters learn of it. Then, as money begins to flow toward the technology and the mainstream begins to learn of it, expectations for the technology's impact begin to rise, sometimes irrationally. Then, at some point, the expectations, probably because they're so high, consistently are not met and the technology dives down into what Gartner calls the trough of disillusionment. It's the classic result of over-promising and under-delivering. We can all blame the marketing profession for that, I'm sure. Finally, the technology either matures to the point where it moves through what they call the slope of enlightenment and onto the plateau of productivity, and it's widely adopted, or it dies out and becomes obsolete before it ever gains mainstream acceptance. You know, like broadband over power lines. No one really seems to be all that interested in that anymore. It's hard not to pay attention to the chart this week because this year, 3D scanning has made the chart for the first time, inching its way up the expectations peak. Gardner predicts it will reach the plateau of productivity some two to five years from now. This could easily be a boon to the industry as investors definitely pay attention to Gardner, and you can be sure the attention will be headed the way of 3D scanning. However, the chart is something of self-fulfilling prophecy. Being included on the chart inevitably increases the very hype it's charting, so expect more overpromising in the near future and not all of it by marketers. Luckily, some prognosticators will weigh in, the IT blogs and the IT mags will go there, and we'll see all kinds of stuff about 3D scanning. It's almost definitely a good thing in the long run, but it will bring some pain and disappointment on the part of people who buy into the hype without their eyes wide open. It's the job of those who've been in the industry since its infancy to manage those expectations and try to keep the trough of disillusionment a shallow one. Also of note is that 3D printing is now at the very tip of the expectations and hype mountain. Gardner is curly hip to all the buzz I've been picking up on as well. Does that mean 3D printing is headed for a disillusionment crash? Well, I think anyone who buys a Cubify and sees that it takes an hour to print one chess piece might get disillusioned in a hurry. But if you're just focusing on the home printing aspect of 3D printing, you're missing the point. The very real increases in size and material that industrial 3D printing offers is heading pretty quickly to the plateau of productivity, if you ask me. And that's where it's most likely to be coupled with 3D scanning and possibly drag scanning right along with it. And one final note, Gartner has included volumetric display on the chart for the first time, just eking onto the radar screen for people to pay attention to. They must be reading SparView and watching SparVlog, no? But I couldn't blame them for that, could I? Hopefully you all keep watching too. Until next time, I'm Sam Feifel, and I'll see you next time.